Hello and welcome to this video on JavaScript. In this video series, we're going to introduce you to what JavaScript is and a few cool scripts that some other genius has already created and how these scripts can amp up your website with additional functionality. Now, one of the main goals in this video series is to peel back the layer of fear some people have when it comes to working with scripts. If we can make you feel more comfortable with the various types of scripts out there, then you may find it easier to start adding them to your sites, and who knows, maybe when you have the time, you'll start to learn more about how to write your own scripts. And until then, remember, scripts are our friend. There's nothing to be afraid of. Now, what is JavaScript? Well, it's not the writing on the foam on top of your latte. JavaScript is an easy to use programming language that can be embedded in the header of your web pages. It's used in millions of web pages and can enhance the dynamics and interactive features of your page by allowing you to perform calculations, check forms, write interactive games, add special effects, customize graphic selections, create security passwords, and much, much more. Now, what do you need to use JavaScript? Well, actually, nothing more than your browser. Nowadays, all browsers are equipped to read and execute JavaScript commands. 99% or thereabouts of the Internet users have JavaScript enabled on their browsers. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let me pull up my browser. And this is a web page that has a couple of JavaScript uh, scripts, for lack of a better phrase, uh, already embedded and working. For example, one is this Google section of videos here. Basically, you just click on this and it sends you to a video. And, you know, in this particular instance, they're internet marketing, SEO, make money, eBay, and so on. And this is a little, uh, what they call a widget, I believe, that I got off of the Google webmaster tools section got a whole bunch of bells and whistles there I ought to check that out um, but this is the JavaScript code and over here you might be familiar with this new type of advertising or at least ways at the time of this video being made it was new it's a basic peel back ad and it kind of hides behind the scene it's got a little bit of a wow factor involved but it's JavaScript and you've also got uh, over here this little babble fish you might have seen before uh, I believe that's Alta Vista's little tool that translates languages or translates web pages into various types of languages and these are just various forms of basic basic JavaScript codes that are embedded on the source code of the web page most of them are going to be stuck in between the head tags at the top of the coding or HTML coding of one's web page so let's kind of take a look here and I'll show you the uh, source code of this particular page and okay here's the head up here head tag opening head tag and we got some of the of course the meta tag stuff then here's one of the scripts here and you know a lot of times it'll give you uh, at the beginning of the script for the free ones anyway where this script was obtained from where you can go to get a you know your own uh, flavor version whatnot uh, but there's a couple of two or three scripts right in here here's the one on the Google videos and then also some of these scripts will be located at the bottom of the page just above the closing body tag and this is like that peel it add up that's up in the top right corner Google Analytics is another good one this is an awesome tool folks by the by I'm kinda getting off track here just a little bit but if you haven't checked it out yet do so it's free go to google-analytics.com what it does is it provides you with some awesome stats on your web page traffic uh, that used to cost four or five hundred bucks a month until Google got their hands on it now it's free for everybody go check it out again it's just a little code you just copy after you do all the stuff that they tell you to do on the web page uh, there at Google you just copy this little script stick it in just above the uh, closing body tag bada bing bada boom I mean you've got an awesome set of tools ahead of you right there so I would definitely check that out but again that's for a different video anywho that's the uh, source code of this page here now some folks as I've mentioned have a tendency of, and very few at that have a tendency of surfing the internet with their JavaScript disabled and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second, just so you can kind of see through their eyes what they're missing out on. But I also want to point out that there are several places on the web to get free codes. So once you get you know a little froggy and you want to jump into adding scripts to your web page and just play around a little bit, one of the better places to go is called hotscripts.com. And they've got several 
uh, types of scripts that they can, you know, that they provide you. Some are free, some are going to cost you some bucks, but uh, one of them is JavaScript, and that's where we are here. Just various types, you know, the scripts and programs. We've got over 2,000 of them. Again, some of them are free, some are going to cost you. Some tips and tutorials, always good to check these things out. And another one is JavaScript.com. I wonder how they got that name. Anywho, uh, just a couple of sites to check out. You know, if nothing else, you know, use your best friend Google and just uh, do a hunt for free JavaScript scripts, and you'll be surprised. I think there's, I don't know, uh, 500,000 or so. Yeah, it's enough to keep you busy for a while. But let's get on back to this page. It has a couple of the JavaScripts enabled already, and let's go up to Tools. Now you can do the same thing with other browsers as far as disabling and enabling the JavaScript, and they're all pretty much the same. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're all basically the same except for Internet Explorer. It's just a different uh, avenue you got to get to to disable it. Um, but you go to Tools, and this is Firefox that I'm using now. Go down to Options, and right here you got the Enable JavaScript, and you see that it's ticked. So let's untick it, hit OK, refresh the page, and then we'll look at this through the eyes of somebody that does not have JavaScript enabled and kind of see what they're missing out on. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get on back up to the top of the page here. And you see we don't have the Peely ad thingy over here in the corner. The Babelfish translator is not there. And you can see this guy is trying to load, but it ain't going to because the JavaScript's disabled. And one of the other things that uh, was on here was a JavaScript that dis I mean, it uh, did not allow you to right click with your mouse button to highlight, copy, and paste onto your particular page, you know, or, or basically snag somebody's stuff, um, you know, for educational purposes, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, with the JavaScript disabled, naturally, you're able to do that now. So, you know, take that for, you know, whatever it's worth. But there's, in the next video, I'm going to go over with you how you can, you know, provide some kind of a workaround so that you can, uh, for those folks that, do not have JavaScript enabled, either by accident or by you know on purpose. Uh, there's some certain workarounds that, that you can add to your coding that will again prevent malicious attacks, I guess, for lack of a better phrase, on your security of your JavaScript. You know, because some folks use uh, JavaScript to password protect certain pages on their website or certain folders, and we'll go into that in greater detail on the next video as well. But there are ways around uh, folks, you know, to to let people know that hey, by the way, your JavaScript is disabled, and this page works best, or only will work if your JavaScript is enabled. So we'll go over that in the next video. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and, and hopefully, our little introduction here to JavaScript has got the juices flowing for you, and that you at least are a little more curious and, and a little more confident in your abilities to play around with the adding scripts to your website. Thanks again for watching, folks, and hey, check out the next couple of videos we got for you on JavaScript, too. Thanks.